You're a bully, Mr. Strain. And I find I'm not overly fond of bullies. What is new in the world of Jacob and Evie Fry? Well, what's new this year with Assassin's Creed Syndicate, obviously, mm -hmm. is the fact that it's the first true modern AC ever yeah. created. So you get into London of 1868, there's vehicles in the street now, and you can use a rope launcher, which is a completely new tool for the player. Can you explain a little bit about the, the new features that we're going to be seeing? The carriage, the guns, we don't normally see that in a typical Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, it's true. One thing that uh, we like to say is that, you know, the game and the, the way that the player is going to play needs to be true to the period. So let's try to build a tool that's very modern, that's fast for the player to use. So the rope launcher came in. Um, so that's something the player can use on any building, any, any top of building to access very quickly the top. To make it true to the period is the fight system. Everything that's fight, it's a lot, it's a lot more brutal than what we've seen in the past. It was a period of concealed weapons, so you were not seeing sword or big hacks like we were seeing in the past. Now it's all very melee, like hand to hand with brass knuckles and, uh, and so the, the sword cane as well. So it's, it's, it's different in that way. Now, can you go into a little bit more detail about Jacob and Evie? Are they going to have different story campaigns, or is it the same for whichever character you choose? When you start the game, both of them are born and raised assassins, so they get into London uh, being an assassin, and they get to explore London. If the player decides to do uh, the game entirely with Evie, he can. Um, within the open world. It's up to the player to decide whether he wants to play with Evie or Jacob. What goes into creating this amazing, almost steampunk-esque, fashionable world? For the past two years and a half now, we've been very, very close with people that are very knowledgeable like, to make sure that we're true to the period. Yeah, one thing that we wanted to do right at the start is really recreate London of 1868. So when you think of London of 1868, you're thinking of different boroughs. So when you, you know, Westminster all the way to Whitechapel, that's a big distance to cross. So we need to have a bigger world. And the game is going to be released on October 23rd on, on PS4 and Xbox One.